I've got a question for you and I can't wait to ask it. Is it about this? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Hi. 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 I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. And together we're our time in the mud. We're trash. <laughs> Garbage. Garbitches. 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 So we're just going to tell you about um, all of our empty garbage that we've saved up for you. Absolutely. Um, I wouldn't normally do this if I didn't do this. Smash or pass. Yeah. I'm going to try. Okay, so we each have 10 products, so we have to give a smash or pass 10 times. Okay, hope and a prayer. Okay, somebody count them. Somebody count them for us. Okay, where do, who do, you, where do you want to start? Top down. Okay, who's it, what's it? You got more tops. Okay, real quick. We're just going to go, so dry shampoo. Wow. I use it. I'm going to give you all of mine. Lovely, I'm so excited. Okay, great. Um, tried and true, a Batiste. This one's a giant one. I got it at Marshall's, $8.99. I would smash if I see it. I usually have one in my cabinet um, just as like a backup. I prefer Living Proof Dry Shampoos. The Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo is a good, like, go-to, absolutely smash. And then the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, it says it actually cleans hair, but so does this one. I don't know. They're fine. I actually kind of like the nozzle more on this one. Yeah. But, I mean, smash both. Smash both. I have an Amika Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. Mm. Huge smash for me. Missing it desperately. Yep. I love this stuff dearly. Can you get it at Ulta? For 20... You almost... Did you just spray that right in your face? Because I think I watched you do it. I think I did the thing where it tells you not to do it. Where it's like... Did you just huff? Please. Solvent abuse can kill instantly. <laughs> <laughs> instantly! How... What? How high are you? Instantly. Zero. <laughs> no, I'm at okay. from that. Oh, that was a really dumb thing I just did. That was hilarious. Um, I once did that as a child, sucking, trying to get the last of the whipped cream out of the whipped cream can. I've done that. I did that once and I was like, ooh, I feel weird. My mom was like, you're fucking what? idiot. <laughs> so I got the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner in like a little set from a Sephora going out of business in a JCPenney. Yep. And I fucking love it. I already bought a full size at the last Sephora sale and will wait you don't like my little uh, uh, it sheds of skin so it wasn't a question as much as it is a comment which is like do you do you pour this into your hand do you put it on a cotton round are those chunks depositing onto your face and do they disintegrate what's happening so i am putting it directly into my hand and then onto my face i'm skipping the cotton round occasionally these little petals will kick out of the tiny little hole but as you can see like this last little bit is almost all of the petals. Like, they're still in there. Um, occasionally you do get one, but honestly, by the time I've rubbed it on my face, I don't know where it's gone. So they disintegrate. I guess. Or it's, like, caught in my hair. I don't know. And people love it. I do. I fucking love it. And that one chick on Insta, or that thing, TikTok. TikTok. Uh, yeah, I think she that was like actually kind of the reason that I finally was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Because it, she was so emphatic about how much she loved it. And so that's the glam. That's the glam. Smash. Good job. Smash. This is the Aquage Spray oh. Wax for volume and definition. Hmm. Loved it. Love another one I'm using more by Redken. I used up the entire canister though, and I would purchase if it were on sale, like if Ulta was doing one of their whatever days of beauty and it was just on a super sale, sure would buy it. Um, the smell wasn't my most favorite, but it was a good spray wax, and that's what I prefer to use in my hers. Mm -hmm. Texture spray, spray wax, if necessary, a little hairspray. This hair, she has a mind of her own. Not I'm even just gonna name it. Well, I'm really liking it today. Are you? Yeah. Well, I just fucked it up. I know, I love it. Thank you. Are we gonna go get Botox at that place? Serums. We love them, we're using them. I love them. Um, and so I have a really good sort of smattering of high, well, no, they're all kind of high end. Um, so this is the City Beauty Intensive Night Serum. I didn't love this. City Beauty was like some hits, some misses for me. So I just found this. Is that a brush? No, it's just like a hard piece of plastic. Okay. <laughs> like a paddle. It. I still don't understand how this was supposed to work. Because it was supposed to work like 
that. correct way would you have liked it more I don't know. oh yeah the inside of this clean oh yeah look at that look at that wow that makes so much more sense okay so not your fault city beauties <laughs> well I think the serum was actually just okay but who but am I like who am I to this what the <laughs> fuck am I supposed to do what the fuck I still use like all of it though. I know you did. I literally was like scraping it out. Like this is so stupid. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Okay. That's embarrassing. I think your neighbors even know about that. Um, they probably do. The next one, 10 out of 10. Uh, so, uh, smash pass on the city beauty. I don't know. I'd have to try it again. <laughs> Send it to me again, city beauty. I'll let you know. Um, an automatic smash, the Youth Bomb 360 Facelift Serum from Beauty Pie. I love it. I use it in the morning before my makeup, and I'm very, very excited to now have a brand new one because they sent it to us. Uh, and lastly, ooh, holy grail. This is also why I need the Sephora sale to happen because I am officially out. I think I'm gonna buy it again. It's the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. It is so good. I just am convinced that it does things. It's the bifidus. There's like not a lot of products that I'm like, no, it really does work. But I'm. It's it. It's it. It's so good. Yeah. So okay. good. Smash. Smash. I have a serum as well. This is the 15% vitamin C and caffeine energy serum to brighten and firm and to puff from use to the people. Absolutely loved it. I'm using a vitamin C serum right now that I'm not wild about, so mm. I would like to repurchase this okay. whenever possible. Yeah. Would repurchase. Smash, 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 smash. I just sneeze, I'm so sorry. So for moisturizers, I have the Ren Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream. Obviously, this is from daytime. I actually prefer the other one. Is it the purple one? Hmm. Whatever that is. Uh, it has some red health crap in it. Yeah, but I do like that, that one better. Pardon me. And then other is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. I think I did use this one in the morning because it was on the thinner side. Um, actually, no, I used both. I did it for both. I used it at day and night, no complaints. Yeah. Totally um, wiped clean. I would say smash, except they just sent us a new moisturizer that we're gonna be trying. So still smash this one, but excited to try that. I'm gonna try it tonight. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, you bomb. Youth bomb. I'm gonna youth bomb my face so hard, beginning to end. It's Swiss. Swiss. I'm gonna Swiss beat my face. I need to go to Switzerland. Totally. I wanna watch the cows. It's been on my bucket list and I just saw another video of it the other day mm. and it is happening. Okay. Um, okay, another Youth to the People product. This is the Polypeptide 121 Future Cream by Youth to the People. Youth, youth to the People. You. Youth to the People. Uh, I've turned friends onto it. They love it. How could you not love it? I've been through three of these and I think I have another one ready to go. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. So good. Morning, noon, night, doesn't matter. Middle of the night, after you vomit, on the side of the road, whatever. <laughs> didn't happen to me the other day, no. Magic elixir. Um, I didn't 100% finish this one, but at this point, it's so old. I don't think that it's reasonable. Was it supposed to be blue? It was blue. Where did the color go? It just evaporated over time. That doesn't make any sense. So this is the Herbivore Lapis Facial Oil. It does. Like the color? The blue just blue away. It's years old. Okay. It's it. years old. So I, I'm just going to say I'm not going to use it. It's all cloudy and weird at the bottom. Um, but this was, this is a pass for me. I think it was like a overhyped brand to begin with kind mm -hmm. of. I think there are some products that are, I think people love the, the watermelon one. Watermelon Glow, is that them? Oh, that's um, Glow Recipe. Oh, never mind. Okay, take it back. But anyway, I, but I agree with you. Their stuff's very expensive for what it is. It's very expensive for what it is. I feel like I could just use an oil. I, like, I feel like I could order an, an oil off Amazon or go to the grocery store and get an oil that would be just as fine as this. It was very, very thick. It was very scented with like blue tansy. Um, 
I I'll could spray you with some Pam if you want. Right, I'll pass. <laughs> Please. Butter flavored. I have that one for baking. Mm -hmm. I could Pam you up right now. Or the one with the, the flour in it. Yep, that's got that too. Uh, this is something, again, Beauty Pie, listen, we love yep. Beauty Pie, just got a restock of this, Caitlin and I literally talked about how we use it, even though it's way gone empty because the brush is so good. Yep, but now it's, you can finally get rid of it. Thank God. The Archology Eyebrow Sculpting Gel, this was in the shade Perfect Brown, but it be dry as fuck, because all I'm doing is just doing this. Mm -hmm. I just, it's just such the perfect little brush, it's the perfect brow gel when there's brow gel in it. Yeah. And I will, I already went whacked some, whacked some on today. It's just a little flickerella. Mm -hmm. God, I love her. Uh huh. Okay, she doesn't even annoy me, and that no, kind of she behavior annoy would annoy me on a lot of people. But with her, she can get away with it. She do whatever she wants. I think this is our last beauty product in this particular empties. Thank you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it is the Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector, and luckily enough, we just received <laughs> a restock of it today. Um, smash! I really, really enjoy it. I feel like, particularly now that I wear more skincare as makeup, this really perfectly fits into that because mm -hmm. it just—it's an extra step. It's an extra product, but it makes it so that you can sort of. It just, it just, it brings out more rather than hiding. It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. I love it. You'll notice that I, whenever she said smash, smash, duh. Sorry, I forgot one. Good. Smash. I gotta start with the smash before yeah, 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 I get smart. into it. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. This oh. is in the scent flavor, whatever, cherry, vanilla. I got every drip drop out. I love this stuff. Would a hundred times repurchase, but Beauty Pie just sent me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they literally did. It's so good too. It's oh, so and good. look at it versus this. Look at that. This yeah. is the new one I'm going to use. And Wait, so where was this from? It was from Sephora and I oh, okay. really, really, really liked it. It did do a little plumping action. Ooh, okay. Made my lips look juicy, juicy, excuse me, and was still on when I woke up in the morning and I felt like I'm using a really thin lip balm mm. right now and I don't like it. And so it might just go in the garbage. Ooh, you'll see it in the next empties. Yeah, except products, products I didn't like. The Me Matte Amber Fragrance Oil from Ulta. Um, I freaking love this scent. I have purchased another one and it is just, perfection and mm -hmm. I forgot how much I missed it and loved it because I wore this for the first time like earlier this week I think and mm -hmm. oh no I wore it and as I was going into the Ravens game last week or mm -hmm. the week before mm -hmm. the woman was like you're wearing some sort of like Persian something and I was like Amber and she's like you smell wonderful oh. and then I was I went in I went into a Chick-fil-a the other day to get my food and the girl the little tiny girl at the cash register was like what are, are you wearing a perfume right now? And I was like, I am. She's like, you smell wonderful. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And it's this dumb little $20 tube and it's perfect. And I just keep it in my purse and I smear it all over myself. Do you have another one ready to go? I have another one ready to go. So would you smash? Yeah. Great job. Thank you. I would smash this. Smash. It's our $10 old Navy perfume, sea salt and fig. Oh, I still have a lot. I have none. So good, uh -huh. but I used it up all summer long, which I think it's the perfect scent for summer. And now yes. we're into fall slash winter, and I am moving on to the more musky, warmer, leathery scents. Yes. Uh, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's the only like fresh, clean scent that Caitlin and I like. Yeah, so good. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Just all the scents today. Mm. It's so good. Okay, the last thing that I have is a salve from Mamotaro. Mm. So I actually won this. I was the weekly giveaway winner, which I was really excited about. It's crazy. On what? I think I just like signed up for their email list. And no they, way. They pick a weekly winner and they were like, you're it. You got to pick a product. Thank you, I was really excited. Um, and so this is a salve that I found after following a woman on Instagram called, I think it was Mary Margaret. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's around anymore, but um, it is just a, a soothing salve for your puss. It is for your 
vulva specifically, not so much your actual, uh, you're not going up in there, but it is really nice for post shave wax, for mm. when you're a little irritated from maybe some, if you took a pounding. Um, it also is great when I'm just feeling a little like, ooh, is that BV? It just helps, I don't know, mm -hmm. it's great. I love it. It also, it is a, a salve, but then it immediately sort of goes down into um, like an oil mm -hmm. once it's heated by your body heat. And so like, I mean, have I also fucked uh, with it? Yes. Oh yeah, it's slip slidey. Slip slide. Yeah, nice. Uh-huh. Very cool. Yes, love it, love it. Smash, smash, smash. How do I have two left? <sighs> discovered a new sun product this summer and it's the vacation brand I got the classic lotion but I also got the sprays loved every single thing love 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 it and you did loved yeah I have some more upstairs because I loved it that much I bought it when it was on sale like 20% off and just stocked up this is the SPF 30 lotion version I would start my day with the lotion and then reapply with the spray uh-huh I think it did a great job. I never got a sunburn. I never got any clogged pores. It does have a little bit of a classic OG sunscreen smell, which mm. I really do like, and I know that's not popular, but it did a great job. Oh, to me, it smells like my childhood. Oh, I know. Mm -mm. I can't do that. I love it. That's actually the sunscreen smell that like haunted me as a child. Smash. It's like copper tone. Yeah, my mom had, what, did they have one that was called like Act? Ooh, or it was in like a pink bottle with like an orange cap. It was huge. But sunscreen back then, I just feel like, like sand. Was it a no ad? Maybe. I remember that being a brand. Sand like would be attracted to it like a magnet. Like it just, ugh, no. It, I, I used to cry. I used to cry getting sunscreen put on me. I was that kid at the beach. It has banana in it. I think banana. that's why I like it. But it, it performed and I liked the way I smelled and it was hydrating. I got no complaints. Okay. And it was mineral. So I'm really trying to do mineral. I know. It's like, where have you been? But I'm here now. <laughs> Is it mineral? Fuck. I don't know. I don't. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I think it would say mineral sunscreen on the front if it was. I think the spray is a mineral sunscreen. Fascinating. Is it? I don't know. Uh, smash. Smash. Also, oh, isn't that a cute package? I wanted to buy it just because of the package. It is a package. I almost bought it multiple times. because. glad you didn't. Me too. Um, the last thing I have are the waxy gold wax beans for face and body. I will be very honest. I have not waxed a single goddamn thing in... It might be like nine months. Wow. Yeah, don't love it. I mean, I would prefer to be waxed. But when I do go back and wax, I will be using wax beans because I did absolutely notice a difference between generic wax beans that came off Amazon versus these. These wax definitely beans. these definitely have um, some sort of like oil in them to keep so that it's not really drying. And then it also like really gets the hair like there was a quality difference I can tell you that um, so smash when I eventually wax again the amount of sweat piles that I left on my bathroom floor from doing that to myself just absolutely mortified I'll never do it again it just for me it just takes a long time and I and I'm not good at it and that makes me mad same same also, I think I have way too much hair to try to tackle that myself. That's I, what I have learned. I would agree with that, yes. Last, but certainly not least, I have a battle of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream dupes, okay? Yep. In order from best to worst. Okay. Let's go. Should we, let's start with the worst. Yep. Will not buy again, Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Buddy Butter. I don't love it. It smells a little like Play-Doh to me, and I don't like that. Here's what I'll tell you about it. Not a dupe. Not a dupe at all. Not a dupe in texture. Not a dupe in performance. Not a dupe in smell. They think it is, but it's not. The candle version of that smells much better than the body butter. It's like tropical Barbie does bum bum. Yeah. Pass. The next best one would repurchase the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. This one is really nice. It's very bouncy. It is thick but bouncy, but like not thick and greasy on your skin, if that makes any sense. Whipped, you know, just like it says. Smells good, not as good as this. This is from Sam's Club, you guys. Oh, God. I've already, it comes in a two pack. 
for $18. Mm. Two pad for $18. Flip lid comes with a little spatula that just snaps right in there. Never used it once. Never. Don't never, know why never, 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 never. Um, I have three more in my backup right now because yeah. you know they're going to get rid of it and I want to have it. It's amazing. It is the best dupe that I have found for the Bum Bum Cream in both texture and scent. It's mm, yes. thin. That's really close. Yeah, it's very close. So there was also a dupe from BJ's. I did not love that. That I probably would put between. Yeah. Trader Joe's and Tropic. Yeah. Ugh, pardon me, sorry. All I've drank is water today. I don't know why I'm like burpy. I would say texture still a great cream. I still used it, but yeah. my scent really wasn't right. Yeah. This was amazing. I obviously love it. Yeah. Cheeky cream. Che oh yeah, sorry, I didn't even tell you what it's called. Jesus Christ. Nature Well Firming Cheeky Cream Brazilian Nut Butter. So hella smash, little smash, big pass. Okay. But, like, God, look at them. They're really just, they're out here trying. The shape, I know, it's funny. The shape, it's so funny. Everything about it. Love it. Love it. That's it. Can't wait to throw this shit away. We done did it. I know. Love I'm going to be lighter on my way home. Sorry, Mike. No, you're not because you're taking all that beauty pie with you. <laughs> and those are full products. You're right. You're right. Maybe I'll take a trip down to your recycling can with all of the boxes. Okay. I would love that. Comment. Like. Why? Subscribe! Ugh, Why did horrible, I do an hour like this? I hate it. I don't know. Everything about us. Comment, like, and subscribe. Please. I literally try to do this when what I really could have done is this. I'm... Are those people digging in the dumpster? Are those people digging in the dumpster? Uh, you guys go. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. He's going in. He's going in, he's going in face first. The dog's literally pulling him away from the garbage can being like, Sir, sir, don't go oh in the dumpster. God, no, it really is. The dog is yanking this leash. <gasps> oh, we let the dog go. The dog oh is holding its own oh leash God, now. And he's so in, he's going face first in there. What did he get? What did he get? It looks like a strap. It's, it is. What the fuck? What? He's, is is he, it a tie? What is he doing? Is he going to put it on his head? Is he? What did he do? Oh, is he putting it on his dog? I can't believe I captured this. Is he putting it on the dog? He's putting it on the dog. He's putting it on the dog. No, he's not. No, he's not. He put the leash back on. I can't believe really got that on camera. What did he put the dog? I will in? put that in the video. Oh, the dog really had to go to the bathroom. He what is like, it? He literally upside down in the fucking dumpster and never bothered to pull up his pants. What did he just grab though? It like didn't even look like it was anything good. I kind of want to go outside and be like, hey, what'd you find? It just looked like a circular. It does look like a strap. Like a structure. Do you think it's like one of those rubber bands that you exercise with? It sort of looked like that. It what it just reminded me of like a the like on your car motor, the rubber A belt. Yeah, a timing belt. You guys, what the hell was that? That was a bizarre end. Please uh, comment down below your strangest neighbor interaction. Now there's someone else going back there. No way. Do you think I can put that totally clip in unrelated? The video? To yes. Okay. Yes. T totally. Oh, where's he going? Because he did just like cut back to the back of the house. Oh, fascinating. Okay. Well, we gotta go. You guys need to move to my neighborhood. I just gotta tell you. Comment like it's popping off. Comment like and subscribe. Uh. Wow. Watch the next one. Watch the last one. Watch all of the ones. We will keep you updated with this neighborhood drama as much as possible. <laughs> So much good people watching. Wow, no, that no was idea. really great. That was, I mean, 10 out of 10. The dog dragging away was my favorite part. It's very hard to explain this, but picture this. Picture that, this. Was that a squirrel running across the fence? Probably. Okay, picture, picture it. You've got, a, think of a city block. Houses, 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 houses. Okay, normal. Most of the time the houses are like backed up to each other. I have a giant open oh, there's another person. yard basically back there. Courtyard. It's a green space. It's like a courtyard. So the backs of four sides of houses can see this green space. So it's like television. I don't even watch TV. Why would I? Right. This is the fucking best. God, it's so good. So goddamn good. Okay. Love you so much. Oh, yeah. Gotta go tell Mike this story. We'll catch you on the it. next one. We love you. Oh, he has a dog. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Wait, the best part of this was that it happened during an empties video where we were talking about garbage. And that man just literally dumpster died. He's the ultimate garbage.